When I'm out backpacking, I want a stove that can boil water quickly. And in the shoulder seasons, when the weather turns cold, wet, and windy, that can be a tall order. No one wants to sit around waiting 20 minutes for their water to boil when they could be warm in their sleeping bag. That's why if you're facing tough conditions, you want one of these all-in-one backpacking stoves that can block the wind and boil water in just about any conditions. To find out which one is the right choice for you, we're going to do a time boil test and we'll weigh the fuel canister before and after to see which one is the most fuel efficient. We'll also look at price and weight to help you make the right choice for your next trip. This is the Jetboil Flash. It's one of the best-selling backpacking stoves on the market. It has a one liter capacity and it claims to boil water in 90 seconds. This is the MSR Windburner, another highly rated backpacking stove, but with an added twist. It claims to be windproof. Finally, we have the Primus Light Plus. This one doesn't get as much fanfare, but it's garnered some really impressive reviews over time. So to find out which of these backpacking stoves performs the best in harsh conditions, we're going to simulate a windy environment using a camping fan that I brought along. So let's start by turning it on to high, and then we're going to measure what the wind speed is using this handy B2100 that I brought along with me. Okay, it looks like that is about 10 miles per hour. So now we're going to test the jet boil first. We're gonna run a separate test for each of these stoves. I'm starting with a fresh fuel canister, which weighs 7.5 ounces when full. We'll measure that again at the end of the test. I have our camping fan on high already, ready to go. So let's start by adding two cups of water. Okay, let's get going. Let's see what happens here. Turning the fuel on a little bit. Okay, so this is not gonna come as a surprise to anyone that's actually used a piezo igniter before, but the piezo igniter on the jet boil is not working right now. So, I brought along a lighter, so that should be fine. Try this again. As with all great testing, we're running into problems right out of the gate. The jet boil does not want to light with a piezo igniter and it does not want to light with a lighter when there's a 10 mile per hour wind blowing. So we're just going to move this off to the side and then we will light the stove. We'll put the canister on top and then we will move it back in front of the wind. And we'll see if any of the other stoves manage to perform a little bit better than that. Okay, and now I'm going to hit start on our timer and we'll see how long that takes to boil. Starting to get some action. The water coming out the top. It's almost at a full boil. All right, I think we're gonna call it. That's at just under six minutes for the jet boil, which compares to around two minutes 30 in a completely windless environment. So let's take a look at what the fuel canister weighs now. This weighed 7.5 ounces before we started testing. Now it weighs seven ounces. So that means that to boil two cups of water with a 10 mile per hour wind, it took half an ounce of isobutane fuel. So next we have the MSR wind burner and we're gonna see if this one is actually windproof. So we'll start by adding our two cups of water. We'll take that off for a second, put our lid on. Right, now we're gonna turn the fan back on, put it back onto high. Give it a second to really get going. All right, let's see how this one does. All right, unfortunately, just like the jet boil, it looks like this one can't be started in a 10 mile per hour wind. So let's pull it off frame for a second. We'll light it in a windless environment and we'll try again. The canister on and then let's get going. All right, we'll see how long this one takes. 
All right, the MSR wind burner is getting close and helpfully, Mother Nature has decided to kick up a little bit of extra weather for us for our testing purposes. Okay, then we're gonna call it. That's two minutes 40 for the MSR wind burner, which compared to 211 in a completely windless environment. So that's an impressive result of only 30 seconds more for a 10 mile per hour wind. All right, and so it looks like this weighs 7.2 ounces now. So that means that it used 0.3 ounces of fuel to boil two cups worth of water. The jet boil, as we will recall, used 0.5 ounces of fuel. So the MSR wind burner used 0.2 ounces of fuel less. So, so far the MSR wind burner has proved to be a little bit more efficient than the jet boil, but let's see what our dark horse, the Primus Light Plus can do. Unlike the other two, this one only has a half liter capacity, but that's fine because we're only trying to boil two cups worth of water. While the MSR wind burner didn't have a piezo igniter, this one does have a piezo igniter. So let's start by seeing if it works. Turn our test fan on, get it going. Turning the stove on. All right, this one worked. And we're gonna start the timer. And we'll see how long it takes. So this is at seven minutes and 30 seconds right now. And I think we're going to call it if we get to 10 minutes and the water hasn't boiled yet. Oh, uh, you know what? It's getting closer. Let's give it a couple more minutes, see if it gets there. Okay, I think we're gonna say that's it. You'll have noticed that was significantly longer than both the jet boil and the MSR wind burner. I'm also struggling a little bit with, you can see here that the cozy for this pot has been slipping down during testing, which I didn't love to see. But let's find out how much fuel it used. I'm having to be more delicate with this one, taking out the fuel canister than I was with the others because of how little material I can grab onto safely without burning myself. All right, so we started off with 7.5 ounces and this now weighs 6.8 ounces. So that means that this used 0.7 ounces of fuel, which is over twice what the MSR wind burner used. At the end of our test, the highest performer was the MSR wind burner. However, this stove costs $190. It also says that it weighs 15.5 ounces. So let's check and see if that spec is correct. Got our scale on now. Stack these guys up on top of it. All right, it looks like this weighs 16.6 .6 ounces or just a little bit over a pound. Let's see how that compares to some of the other backpacking stoves we have here. The jet boil came in a close second in terms of performance to the MSR wind burner and it costs $130 and says that it weighs 13.1 ounces. So let's see if that's a little bit closer to what it shows up to on the scale. All right, this weighs almost 14 ounces. So just a little bit heavier than advertised. Finally, let's go ahead and look at the Primus Light Plus. Okay, it looks like that weighs 14.75 ounces, which is just a little bit more than the 14.1 ounces it says that it weighs. Um, this one also cost $130. And while it didn't exactly impress us during testing, I did like that its piezo igniter worked and that I was able to light the stove with the wind blowing directly at it, which is, is, is I think what's important here is that all of these backpacking stoves ultimately had something to offer. If you're looking for excellent performance in all kinds of windy conditions, you can go with the MSR wind burner. If you're looking for a great value with great performance, you can get the jet boil flash. And if you want something that's going to light in even the gnarliest conditions, you've got the Primus Light Plus. Personally, I would choose the jet boil flash, but let us know which one you would choose in the comments.